DTS or duration time spread is a measure that adjusts the spread duration to account for the bond's credit spread. This allows us to better capture credit risk in fixed income instruments. For lower rated bonds, spread changes tend to follow a proportional percentage pattern rather than moving in absolute terms. Mathematically, DTS is approximately equal to the spread duration multiplied by the spread itself. Using this, we can calculate the percentage change in present value as the negative product of DTS and the percentage change in the spread. Key types of spreads relevant here include the credit spread, Z spread, and option adjusted spread, or OAS. For portfolios, the DTS is calculated as the market value weighted average of the DTS of its individual bonds. Now, in example one, we have bond X with an effective spread duration of six and its OAS is 180 basis points. Calculate bond X DTS. We'll take the effective spread duration, which is six, multiplied by its spread or OAS in this case of 180 basis points and we get 1080. Next, calculate the percentage change in bond X value if the OAS widens by 20%. We'll take negative of the DTS times the percentage change in the spread. The DTS is 1080 and the percentage change in the spread is positive 20%. And that gives us negative 216 basis points or in percentage terms, that's negative 2.16%. Alternatively, what we can do is we can take negative of the spread duration times the change in spread. For the spread duration, we know that this is equal to six. And for the change in spread, we just have to take the 20% multiplied by 180 basis points, and that would give us 36 basis points. So a 20% widening in this case is equivalent to a 36 basis point increase in OAS. And that's also equals to negative 216 basis points. Now, example two, we have a bond portfolio with two bonds, bond X and bond Y. The bond X has a market value of $120 million. The effective spread duration is six and the credit spread is 180 basis points. For bond Y, the market value is $80 million. The spread duration is four and the credit spread is 500 basis points. Now to calculate the portfolio DTS, we'll just take the market value weighted average. For the market value, the total is 200 million. So for bond X, we'll take 120 over 200, multiply by 6, multiply by 180. And for bond Y, we'll take 80 over 200 times 4 times 500, and we'll get 1,448. Now, let's say we are asked to calculate the change in the portfolio value given that spreads narrow by 30%. So that's a negative change. So using the DTS, again, we'll take negative of the DTS, times the percentage change in the spread, which is negative 30%, and we will get positive 434.4 basis points. Or in percentage, that's 4.344%. If you have to calculate the change in the portfolio value in monetary terms, we will take the portfolio's market value, which is 200 million. We will multiply by the percentage change in the portfolio value of 4.344%, and that gives us a positive $8.688 million change in the portfolio value. Alternatively, if you do not want to use a DTS to compute this, we can use the spread duration. But to get that, we need to first calculate the change in the spread. So given the current spread of 180 and 500 basis points for the two bonds, we will multiply negative 30% to get the change in the spread in absolute terms. So for bond X, uh, the spread will decline by 54 basis points. And for bond Y, the spread will decline by 150 basis points. Then we will calculate the change in the PV for each bond. For bond X, we'll take $120 million. We'll multiply by negative duration or spread duration specifically, times the change in the spread, negative 0.54%. And we'll get a positive $3.888 million increase in the value of bond X. And for bond Y, we'll take $80 million times negative 4 times a negative 1.5% and we'll get positive $4.8 million. And if you total these two up, we will get $8.688 million, which is the same as what we computed earlier using the DTS.